the volume, pump up the volume. You say Redeem a full of culture, y'all. Check this out. Welcome to Ghetto Gallery. We are standing at one of the most controversial artworks in Newtown, put up on the property of Sergio Redigali. We're going to discuss some of the issues surrounding that artwork and also look at a stencil. This mural was painted by Sergio Redigali back in September 2010 and was originally a say no to Burka's protest back then. It usually remains that way, but every now and then it changes to other political statements, as you can see here. The work is located outside his glass studio in Newtown and is also in prominent view from a train line. Redigali decided to put the piece up when a friend of his, a local fashion designer, wanted to use the traditional Islamic garment in a show of his. But at the time, he received violent threats and decided that he couldn't include it on the catwalk. So it was then that Sergio put up this piece three years ago now. It was at that time that an anti-discrimination complaint was put forward to the council and the police. They tried to get him to remove it, but since it's actually his own private property, there was nothing that they could do. Police have clashed with protesters during an anti-racism rally in Sydney's inner west this afternoon. Eight people had to be arrested after a violent demonstration at the site of a mural calling for the Muslim burqa to be banned. It's now been over three years since Redigali first painted the work. He's decided to keep the provocative piece here despite getting death threats, having vandalism, violent protests, and also having to install his own CCTV cameras to keep monitor over the place and make sure that people are not damaging his property. It's changed hundreds of times over those years by the artist himself, as well as many activists and artists within this area. I'm gonna show you some pictures right now of how it's changed. As you can see from those images, sometimes Redigali decides to turn it into more of a political protest against Australian party leaders. He's done several against the former Greens candidate in Marrickville, Fiona Byrne. And right now we have a protest against Kevin Rudd's views on the recent tragedies going on with asylum seekers coming to Australia. But most often this work is about an anti burqa protest. Many people believe it goes against the values of the Marrickville community, while others say there's nothing wrong with him expressing himself and using his rights to free speech. Right next to the no burqa wall we have this stencil done by Fart. Straight away you'll notice that he humanizes the whole thing by having a person painting it, um, which is what this is all about, it's people and what they're painting on walls. Great topic starter, free speech, conditions apply. And that's one thing to notice is that as soon as somebody says something that you don't want to hear, you don't want them to say it. And that's the thing about free speech. There are things that I don't want people to say, I don't want people to show. And whether we respect that or whether they respect the fact that I don't want to hear it or say it. I think the fact personally that uh, a designer, fashion designer wanting to put a burqa into his fashion show isn't exactly respecting the burqa, which is what this is all about. It's about people's opinions and whether they're free to state those opinions. I remember when this piece was painted back in September 2010 and what a huge uproar and controversy, all the protests, that kind of thing. It was in the news headlines and I remember hopping on my bike to go and check it out for myself and it was such a striking image to see here in Newtown. And I think what's interesting is the way its impact has changed throughout the years. 
we've all grown used to his message now and looking at the changing images and really it's become a protest wall. We're going to keep watching this wall as it progresses and changes through the years. Keep watching us on Facebook and Instagram and also back here in two weeks.